what's up guys? It's Flip Fight Life Media. We're down here at Extreme Couture with One Cake Spider, Dustin the Grave Digger Triggers. Uh, if you guys don't remember, he was our featured fighter of the month last month, so we're catching up with him. He has another upcoming fight uh, July 6th at the uh, Tough Enough event. Justin, great to catch up with you again, man. Tell us a little bit about your, uh, your upcoming bout. Um, I've been training ever since my last bout uh, for about six weeks now, training with Norm Turner, doing my conditioning, and with my team at Randy's on my grappling. And uh, Nick's got me mentally ready, prepared over there at 160. For all my guys out there doing sparring and uh, just mixing my whole game together. All right, cool. Um, you know, for, for those of you guys that didn't catch him, um, you know, we'll, we'll throw in some highlight footage here, but walk us through your last fight, your experience, what it was like. You know, that was your first fight, so let everybody know what, what it was like. You know, my, my plan for my first fight was just to fight. You know, all else fails turn into a street fight. But uh, the the fight went well. It went in my favor. Uh, I've been doing a lot of jiu-jitsu for the last three years, and uh, I got to use it in a fight this time, and it, it worked my benefit. Uh, what do you what do you think you took from the, that first fight as far as the lesson, anything that you may have learned leading into this next bout? Um... My, my first fight went quick, man, so uh, I just, you know, I'm ready to go to war, you know, whether it ends in the first round or whether it goes distance, you know, I'm just trying to the war. Well, you know, it's, it's no secret coming from one kick, so you have a pretty extensive Muay Thai background. Um, you know, tell us how you see this fight going. Do you think you're going to be working on some of the ground skills you've been picking up here at Extreme, or are you going to try to keep this standing, or how do you see that going? Um, wherever it goes, that's that's my attitude for every fight, you know. And a fight, uh, whatever he gives me. You know, every opportunity that uh, I can take, I'm going to take it. And if he makes a mistake, I'm going to make sure I capitalize on it. All right. Awesome, man. Do um, you want to tell us a little bit about how your routine, your routine's been? You know, just how often you've been training, how you've been mixing it up, like that? Yeah, man. I've been spending a lot of time with my conditioning coach just trying to get my uh, my cardio to the next level just so I can go pro after this year. And, uh doing sprints, running three miles a day, and then training wrestling every day with a strict tour of Kyle Griffin, great uh, wrestling coach, um, working with uh, Den Dennis Davis on uh, mixed martial arts, uh, my jiu-jitsu coach Vinny, uh, phenomenal jiu-jitsu coach, dude, probably the best in the world, and one kick Nick, dude, that dude's a legend, you know, training with a legend definitely helps. So aside from, from all of your coaches and your team, is there anybody else out there that you'd like to thank? Um, yeah, man, I'd like to thank my family, you know, for the support and uh, helping me uh, being supportive and to, to, and to being a fighter, you know. It's a tough, tough job. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it definitely is. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, once again, it's Justin the Grave Dick and Triggers. He's going to be fighting on July 6th at the Tough Enough event down at the South Point. Make sure you guys stop in and check it out. Justin's an up-and-comer. He's coming hard. You guys going to uh, see some fireworks there. All right, Justin, thank you, man. This is Justin the Grave Digger Triggers back in the Octagon July 6th. Tough enough. Festival brawl. Get your tickets, guys. South Point. It's time to fight.